So today I'm going to talk about the green incredible gem shop and I think that all these units should be purchased. Now listen, hey, hey, listen, listen. Before you pull out your pitchforks, I have reasoning. I think that as you're link leveling and gathering up a lot of these green incredible gems, some of these units could be usable inside off meta content. Now, could any of these guys be used inside meta content? I will let you guys know as I'm going through them, but the answer will probably be no. So let's go ahead and start from uh, the tech android 13 i think this is the only unit on here that awakens from the dokkan battlefield medals right over here so let me go ahead and get him over to his <laughs> his tur form and have him at easy aid so this guy oh this guy is not doing much i think this guy could be useful inside battle road and dokkan battlefield because uh, he is uh, sort of like a last option to be ran on like, I don't know, androids or artificial life forms, battle road. And for extreme tech, which is a very underwhelming typing, you can definitely squeeze him in there because extreme tech is not really impressive even to this day. So this guy would be a much more bigger help to be uh, inside your extreme tech box for, for Dokkan Battlefield, really. But for battle road, you could make the case that you run him as like a a last resort because this guy really isn't doing too much but he is something what's, what makes him like what makes him i don't know what's the word what makes him like uh someone you'd want to purchase there you go what makes him like someone you want to purchase is him being extreme tech and that is probably literally about it or maybe use him as like a last resort inside battle road because he starts out with four key and 80 percent attack and defense when his key is eight or more and he gains 30 percent attack and defense when there's three or more androids on the team so yeah you would definitely want to run him around androids right yeah yeah but i would say pick him up just because the extreme tech yeah i think extreme tech is definitely still a weak typing and it could definitely use a little bit more help so let's go on over to LRSTR Vegito Blue. <laughs> now, I think this is pretty obvious. Everyone should strive to own LR Vegito Blue because he's an amazing free-to-play LR. He does so much. He can help you in long events. He can help you in Dokkan Battlefield. He can help you inside Battle Road. This guy is working everywhere across the game because he stacks. Oh, yeah, his page still hasn't loaded yet. <laughs> there we go. The guy stacks. He can hit quite hard inside battle road to completely eviscerate those enemies. And his leader skill is pretty good. So let me go ahead and pull up his LR. What is his leader skill post easy? I do not remember. Ah, that is a good leader skill. Super class 4 key, 120 across the board. He has a very, very solid leader skill. So it's like what this guy is doing is quite impressive. He's easily the best green incredible gem unit on here but yes i mean everyone should strive to farm him because Magito blue is just he's that guy <laughs> Magito blue is just, he's amazing right because he's lowering attack for bad road and dogon battlefield and he's stacking for long events so he could be used in multiple modes he's great he's really good with a very solid leader skill and a very p powerful passive i would say with a good link set prepare for battle fuse fighter i really like that they did not give him over in a flash thank you lord so going on over to not the super saiyan 2 vegeta because super saiyan 2 vegeta is stuck as an ssr i know this is one of those cards where i'll just be like you should buy these units last you should buy this gohan the super saiyan 2 vegeta the chow Tzu, the bojack and the supreme Kai. you know i'm gonna be, i'm gonna take the extra step and just say you don't even have to buy this unit like the units i'm bringing up right now let me get you let me get you and let me get you. Let me bring up the units I don't think you guys should have to go ahead and buy because they haven't awakened yet. Unless you have a lot of surplus incredible gems from doing a bunch of link leveling, then I would say go ahead because these units are going to get an awakening someday and probably easy aid because Dokkan is going to eventually hit a dead period and they're going to take some of these units, awaken them, and easy aid them. That's typically what happens. They're going to bring back easy aid areas. I know it's been a while, but those are going to come back. Trust me, guys. So... First things first, the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta is just complete, completely useless, but it's like, if you do have the surplus of Incredible Gems, I would say go ahead. 777 Incredible Gems could be a little steep, but he's definitely going to awaken someday, and they're probably going to go ahead and bump down his price from 777. Actually, no, they're probably, they're not going to bump his price down from 777, because when this Goku had got his Awakening and EZA, and they gave him like his little special skill orbs, they, did, they kept his price the same exact price, so yeah. I think that picking up this guy, if you have a lot of incredible gems, would be a smart idea. 
the next Uno on here would have to be the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. The same's gonna happen to him. He's on so many category teams. The same's gonna happen to him. They're gonna go ahead and awaken and EZA him. But I don't think it's really worth picking him up unless you have those incredible gems to do so. Next unit on here will be Chao Tzu. Chao Tzu, the same thing's gonna happen. Chao Tzu, that's, yeah, how many links does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six. He has six links? Please tell me just because you're an SSR. Okay, yeah, okay. Makes sense, makes sense. All right, let me see what links Vegeta has. He does, oh, he has prepare for battle. Thank God. You have prepare for battle? Thank God. How about you? I mean, obviously you don't. My bad. I was I was thinking he would have shocking speed, but no, he doesn't. He's from 2016. Yeah, the same thing with Chao Tzu. Chao Tzu is a little bit more cheaper at 300 incredible gems, but you know that's Chao Tzu. Oh, uh, he's much more of an easier option to buy because he's cheaper. Uh, next would be Bojack. Bojack also not really <laughs> doing much at 300 incredible gems. Next up is Supreme Kai. It's pretty much all the same shit for all these guys, right? It's like, are you really gonna buy these guys right now? It's like, no. <laughs> it's like they get slightly more cheaper, but like Goku Ginyu, this Super Saiyan Gohan, Piccolo, Yamcha, Grand Supreme Kai, Bojack, Chao Tzu, Gohan, and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Like all these units that do not awaken right now are going to get awakenings because Dokkan's going to hit a dead period and that's just what's going to happen. So let me, we're going to go ahead and not talk about all the units that I've brought up. We're going to move on over to the next units that I think you guys should get so the next units that i think you guys should get is definitely this agl cooler this android 13 over here this str krillin and uh, this 18 along with this uh, agl goku now i think that agl goku i think he awakens from easy a area right i'm missing anybody i'm missing this guy right here the super saiyan 2 that goes into super saiyan 3 android goku i think he's the only fierce battle unit you know, on here yeah this guy's actually pretty decent He's, he's quite, he's a great unit for off Metacons. He's very, very good. He can work inside long events too. I, I completed a run with him on Super Saiyan 3 for a long event. He works really, really well. Now, sure, this can run out, this little five turns performing super attack, but this guy was tanking quite well in there. He was doing really good. So like with this Goku, he has special skill orbs. He does have a solid link set with the Saiyan lineage and over in a flash. I mean, over in a flash, a dead link, but still, it's something. It's I was running the Super Saiyan 3 team, but it's it's there. <laughs> it's there. He starts out with 3 key and 100% attack defense start turn. He gains an additional 50% attack defense forming a super attack, which is very good because he already gains 30% attack defense when performing a super attack and a super attack anyways. So, I mean, two separate procs of gaining additional attack defense from his passive and his super attack effect is very, very powerful, as well as a 30% chance to stun and make him work inside both Dokkan Battlefield and Bad Road. I stress that it's very important because that's the concept that most players are going to be starting out anyways. He also gains a 50% chance to crit and launch additional attack that's a third percent chance to come with super attack with additional attack for the first five turns from the start of the turn. Sure, that may run out, but inside long events, you can stretch it. This guy can definitely work because he does gain additional defense over here. He gains defense from super attack in his pass right over here, and he already has a start of turn attack and defensive buff right over here with three key, which is great because he's an over and a flash unit. That is a very important one. They sneak that key in for an over and a flash unit that doesn't have prepare for battle. That is like a blessing in disguise. So this guy is quite good he's a sleeper option and on top of that this guy has powerful skill orbs which i don't know if i can bring it up but inside quest stages he has really powerful skill orbs so this guy will probably be outside of lr vegeto blue your your most sought after option yeah now i know that he didn't come out on global yet but still it's something right so next up would have to be this ajo cooler now i'm pretty sure this ajo cooler is most useful inside inside long events because he does stack right what do you do again yeah he stacks defense and lowers defense it lowers defense yeah he stacks defense he starts out with attack defensive buff he's effective against all types gives all allies two key and he attack debuffs goku's family category character he's useful on battle road <laughs> and he launches just on two super attack does a third percent chance to come a super attack so he has an additional super attack chance he is a support type unit that attack debuffs and is effective against all types gets goku's family category characters and stacks defense bro <laughs> he's a support type unit that's a passive debuffer with additional super attack chance while stacking goku's family is quite common by the way <laughs> guys that's this guy's very good this is very good so one over to the next you have to be this android 13 now this guy for shit sure he stuns i'm i remember vaguely he stuns right android 13 stuns i don't remember what this str 13 does he doesn't stun. Okay, so he stacks attack and defense. 
He starts out with 100% attack at the start of turn. He has 40% damage reduction. His key is 8 or more, which is cool. He also gains plus initial 130% attack and defense when there is an enemy whose name is Goku, Vegeta, Trunks, or Piccolo. Okay. And he gains initial 70% attack and defense for the rest of the battle when there's a 14 and 15 attack in the same turn. Uh... <laughs> Let me point you guys out to a, a very wacky rotation. So we have four category teams. So it's like he does have damage reduction with defense. Because you're more than likely always going to go up against a Goku. Gokus are very common, but like for whatever reason you don't, you can go up against a Vegeta, Trunks, or Piccolo. This guy is nasty. This guy can definitely work really well inside Movie Boss's Battle Road. I think so. It's like 40% damage reduction with his defense. He can probably skate by. I'd be surprised if he couldn't. Let me see the Androids 14 and 15. Post easy. Yeah, this unit is pretty good because you're already foreseeing super attacks when there's an Android 13 attack in the same turn. With damage reduction and a support type passive when there's a fusion Android 13. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, this guy's good. This guy's good. Damage reduction with defense and stacking. No, he's good. He has big bad bosses too. So he's quite solid. Uh, this Krillin. What's good about this Krillin? I don't remember him either. These are units that I haven't got to use in quite a while. Well, except this unit, but yeah, these guys are, they're usable, guys. <laughs> they're good. Uh, so he gains 30% attack defense one turn on his super attack effect. Starts out with 7% attack defense start a turn. He has a 50% chance to guard as a first attacker in a turn. And a 30% chance to guard as a second or third attacker in a turn. And he has a 50% damage reduction when his guard is activated. That's, wow. 50% damage reduction when his guard is activated. Ooh. I mean, this is not a lot of defense, but defense with guard chance and damage reduction. He's not that good. I'm not going to lie. He's not that good because you got to flip the coin when you put him inside slot one for Earthling's Battle Road. But when that does proc, he could be quite good. But he's a bit of a chance unit. He is a chance unit. Uh, Android 18. I remember just being an Android support type unit, right? Yeah, she lowers attack. She... Uh, Gains 18% attack defense for Android's category on the team up to 126. She gains 18% attack defense for each attack form up to 54%. She also gives all allies two key and 18% attack and defense. And then she gives Android's category allies to one key and 18% attack and defense. And then she has a 30% chance to launch uh, additional super attack when there's another Android's category ally attack in the same turn. So yeah, just her being a, a support type unit is the most useful thing about her as well as her lowering attack. Yeah. For sure, for sure, sure. She could work inside Peppy Guys, Battle Road, Androids, probably Siblings Bond, you know, some of these other Battle Road stages. Let me take a look at this Goku. This Goku, 30% uh, attack defense on turn, the super attack effect. He starts out with 100% attack and defense to start a turn. He starts out with an additional 70% attack and defense, gives all allies 3 key and 30% attack and defense with HP's 50% or more. And then he gains 200% defense and a 50% chance to guard with his HP's 49% or less. He's good. He's definitely good. Okay, so I think all these guys, they have their uses. Like, this Goku could be used in both long events, Battle Road, and Dokkan Battlefield. This guy could be using uh, essentially the same thing. This guy could definitely be used in almost essentially the same thing. These guys can all be used inside off-meta content as usable, good options. I think so. What else is inside this incredible gem shop? Ooh, Elder Kai's. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if people were like, nah, dev, I'm picking up them Elder Kai's. Yeah, I do not blame you. And I think it's really cool that you get these Ultimate Clash medals. And it's really, really cool. And a bunch of units awaken off of them. I like that. I definitely like that. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. So I think that is really about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.